Congratulations on the new deal. How does it feel to get it all sorted? Yeah, obviously delighted to extend my stay at the club. Um, obviously, I've been here since under 10, so to be here till 2021. Um, it's obviously a good achievement for me and helps me to get my head down now and push on. Is it a great feeling to see your hard work, dedication and progress over the years rewarded? Yeah, um, obviously I work hard every day and I try to do the right things in training. I feel like it's a good reward to get a new contract, you know, it feels like some hard work has paid off. And I'm guessing it was an easy decision to commit your future to Hull City? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, being at the club since I was 10 and I'd like to stay here for as long as I can, really. And the fact that it's your hometown club, does that make it even more special? Yeah, obviously, I live around here and I've lived around here all my life, so it's great to be at my hometown club, yeah. Can you explain in words what it means for a Hull lad to play for Hull City and wear that black and amber shirt? Uh, yeah, obviously, living around here all my life, um, you you play football when you're young with people and you know they all want to play for Hull. You know, going to the KC to watch home games as I did when I was younger, and you you wish that one day you could be on that pitch. And fortunately, I've been able to do that. Um, it's been a positive and a season of progress for you so far. How do you reflect on how it's all gone in the opening few months? Um, obviously, I played the two cup games. Um, Sheffield United, a great win, you know, with so many young lads on the pitch and played the same team against a very strong Derby team. And unfortunately, we weren't good enough on the night, but we know that. And I think personally, it was a great learning curve that night playing against, you know, such quality players. And you know, that's that's where you've got to be in the in the long run. Um, you've mentioned those two games there. It's great experiences for you personally, but it's the league debut, the one you're eyeing up next? Yeah, obviously it'd be nice to tick that off the list and you know, if, if the chance comes this season then I'll be ready to take it and if it doesn't, then I'll keep working hard to, to try and get it as soon as possible. And as you've already mentioned, your journey you've been on since you've been at this club, you've been here since the age of nine, joined the academy at the under 10s age group. What's that journey been like for you? Um, been a lot of driving with my dad in the van, um, but no, it's been a great journey. Obviously, the academy's changed a lot since since I was a young, and obviously it's paying off. We've got players coming through and now, Bats, Jared, Robbie, and credit to the academy. You know, producing players that are playing regular regular first team football. Is that pleasing to see? Yeah, obviously, as as a young lad in the academy, it's good to see that if you do work hard, then the chance the chance will come to um, play first team football. Um, that journey, you've shared it with the likes of Jared, Dan Batty, Rob McKenzie. Um, does that show that the pathway is there for young players to progress up through the ranks and get into the first team set up here? Yeah, um, obviously I've played with Bats, Jared, Rob. I've played with them all in the 23s and you know that they're good enough when you went on the 23s games and obviously when they get the chance they've all, they've all took it. So it shows that if you, if you get the chance and you take it, then you'll get the rewards and you'll play. As well as having that talent with your feet, is it all about hard work as well? Yeah, obviously I, I'm only a small lad, so it's important that I get my physical side of the game done as well, to be able to cope with, with the physical side of the game. So, you know, that'll come as, as I get older, really, but it's just a case of working hard, I think. And now you've got that little bit of security with the two-and-a-half-year deal, is it... What are your ambitions going forward? Um, I just keep doing what I'm doing every day and if, if I get the chance, then I'll take it. And Obviously, it'd be nice to play some first team football, whether it be here or on loan. You know, I'm open to, to that, so there's always a chance to do that as well if, if I need to.